Hey guys, welcome to Medicine Medicine. Today we are up with another major subject that is internal medicine and we will be discussing something about brucellosis. We hope you'd like our video. Keep supporting, keep loving. Now let's begin guys. Brucellosis is an enzootic infection caused by gram-negative bacilli brucella. In 1886, a British army doctor, David Bruce, isolated a small microorganism from the spleen of fatal cases in Malta and hence the name brucella was given to the bacilli and the disease was termed as brucellosis. Brucellosis was first recognized from Malta because of which it is known as Malta fever and this brucellosis is prevalent in the Mediterranean region of the world than other places because of which it is also referred to as Mediterranean fever and it has a unique kind of fever pattern where there is fever for a certain period of time followed by a period of febrile illness and then followed by a period of relapse which is also known as undulating pattern and hence the name undulating fever. There are four species of Brucella, each is specific to a certain kind of animal host. They are Brucella melitensis, Brucella abortus, Brucella suis, and Brucella canis. The term melitensis has been derived from the word melita, which means Malta in Roman, the place from where brucellosis was first recognized. Brucellosis is an enzootic infection. That means the transmission would occur from animals to humans. But human to human transmission is very rare in this disease. It may occur as a result of ingestion of unpasteurized milk and milk products or via direct contact with animals. It may also occur as a result of ingestion of milk products from infected animals or due to inhalation of aerosols in infected cow sets or slaughterhouse. Brucella species are intracellular microorganisms that reside in the reticular endothelial system of human beings. This explains the chronicity of the disease and the tendency to cause relapse even after completion of antimicrobial therapy. Once inside the host, the bacilli are phagocytosed by macrophages and their lipopolysaccharide is believed to play a key role in the resistance to phagocytosis. From initial site of infection, the organisms are carried via lymphatic channels and vessels to local lymph glands from where they spill in the bloodstream leading to disseminated bacteremia and this provides the organism access to manifest the infection in any system it likes. Acute illness is characterized by high temperature, lethargy, headache, joint and muscle pain. Furthermore, any of the organs can be involved. Brucella melitensis has a tendency to cause acute and more aggressive illness, whereas Brucella suisse has a tendency to cause focal abscess. Brucella can cause infection in any organ in any system, let that be nervous, cardiovascular, respiratory, gastrointestinal or musculoskeletal. The infection may range from uveitis or meningitis to suppurative arthritis or osteomyelitis. That means the infection can involve any organ from top to bottom. Most common clinical features of brucellosis include musculoskeletal pain along with physical findings in the peripheral and axillary skeleton such as suppurative arthritis and osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis caused due to brucella mainly involves lumbar region and lower thoracic vertebra. Since brucellosis has a wide range of clinical presentations that may mimic other disease, it is to be differentiated from other conditions such as osteomyelitis or septic arthritis due to other cause, tuberculosis, typhoid and glandular fever like illness such as those caused by Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus or HIV. As the clinical features of brucellosis are not distinctive, the diagnosis is made on history of potential exposure, a presentation consistent with the clinical findings and supportive lab findings. The diagnostic clues include travel to an endemic area, employment in diagnostic labs, consumption of unpasteurized milk or milk products and contact with animals. Genetic diagnosis depends on culture of organism in blood or in CSF in case of neurobrucellosis. Blood culture is positive for 75-80% to 80 cases of brucella melitensis. Similarly, bone marrow culture, though not used routinely, has higher diagnostic yield. Also, serology can be performed by using standard agglutination tests to see rise in antibodies. This serological test involves the use of antigen derived from smooth lipopolysaccharide of B. abutus. 
Diagnosis in animals can be made by using milk ring test, rose bengal card test or whey agglutination test. This part will be discussed in microbiology section of Brucella whenever we will make the video. So, here are some measures to prevent brucellosis, which include consumption of pasteurized milk or properly cooked meat, use of protective measures to prevent direct contact with animals, vaccination of animals and detection of infected animals, their elimination by slaughter and development of certified brucella-free herds. Tetracyclines combined with aminoglycosides form the core of treatment regimen for brucellosis. Here we have prepared regimen for certain conditions. Adults with non-localized disease are given doxycycline 100 mg twice daily orally for 6 weeks along with gentamicin 5 mg per kg IV once daily for 7 days. For those with bone disease, the previously explained regimen is continued along with addition of rifampicin 600 to 900 mg once daily orally for 6 weeks. In those with neurobrucellosis, doxycycline and rifampicin is continued orally for 6 weeks along with addition of safety action 2 gram IV twice daily until CSF is clear, that is, no infection detectable in CSF. Brucellosis in pregnancy can lead to abortion along with other systemic infection. The designed regimen for pregnant women is rifampicin along with addition of cotrimoxazole 5 mg per kg for 4 weeks. Cotrimoxazole is added here instead of tetracyclines as pregnant women are intolerant to tetracycline. However, special caution is to be maintained while treating these women with these drugs and regular monitoring should be done. So this is an end to our tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe. Keep loving, keep supporting. We will see you soon with another tutorial. Till then, bye bye. Take care.